Hello, Liberty Park students. My name is Errol Owl, and I will be showing you how to use a program called Destiny to search for things in your library. Let's get started. When you first come up to the URL, you're going to be typing in destiny.warren.k12.in.us. Now, that is a very, very, very long URL, but maybe your teacher can either email it to you so you can just click on the link or write it on the board so you can copy it easier. Once you get to this particular URL, you don't need to log in. You just go down to your school, Liberty Park Elementary, and it brings up this page. It has two tabs. It will default or always go to the home screen, which has lots of resources down here. But for today, we are going to look at the catalog because that's where you're going to look for searching for things in the library. We're going to be looking at library search today. At some other training sessions, we'll look down here. But today, we're just going to look at the library search, the basic tab, and the visual tab. Now let's start with the basic search tab and let's say that I am interested in the series um, Don't Let the Pigeon series. So what I can do is I can type in the whole title. There's different ways you can do this if you know the author or I can just start by typing in pigeon and bus, something like that, or I can start with a don't uh, let the pigeon and then press enter and there it is, it comes up. Now over here, it shows you if it's in. If it says zero of one available, it means we have one in the library, but that somebody already has it checked out, so it won't be on the shelf. Now this one happens to be one of one, which means it's on the shelf. So now I look over here to see where do I find it. Now for those of you who have already been in the library, you know where the E section is. The E section is the easier readers. Those are more of the picture books. Remember, more pictures than there are words. So that's the side of the library we are going to go on. And then we will look for the author. If you look at the author's last name, we have W-I-L. So you're going to be looking in the W's to find this book. So let's go back over to our screen. Now remember, this is the E section. It's the this shorter section. They have the tall stacks and the shorter stacks. This is the E section that's closest to the hallway, and they are the easier readers. It has more pictures. So when I'm looking at this, the A's begin right here. Remember, these are the early chapter books over here. So the A's begin right here for author's last name, and the Z's are over here. Now we, we remember the Pigeon series. The author's last name started with a W. So it's going to be somewhere around in here. So I look for the E. I'm on the right side. I find the W's and sure enough, there's my book. And then you can go check it out. All right. So now let's say, let's go back to catalog again and basic search. And let's say um, instead of the pigeon series, I want a little bit harder of a book. Maybe the Diary of a Wimpy Kid series. That's a popular one here at Liberty Park. So I can type in Wimpy or just Wimpy Kid and it will probably find it. Press enter. Let's see what comes up. And if you notice, there's quite a few that are here. So some of them have pictures, some of them do not. And here I can see I have zero of two available there. So there's nothing available here. Looks like I have one of the dog days. And if I scroll down here, um, here's a diary of a wimpy kid. And it looks like I have two, two of these available. So that's a pretty good chance that I will be able to find that on the shelf. So I am going to look at the location, it is on the F side. Remember, that's the fiction side, so it's the harder side. Those are the tall stacks. Here is the author's last name, which is K-I-N, K-I-N. So I need to find the F section. Here it is, there's the F section. Remember, those are the tall stacks. The letter A starts here. We're looking for the K's. So it will be A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. So they are going to be located. You find it. There's the K. So we have the F and the K. And sure enough, if you look right there, it says F and K-I-N to locate your book. 
All right, so now let's go back and let's say that we want to try to find a, a nonfiction book. So let's say you're not sure how to spell something. Now, a commonly misspelled word is dolphin. So what if I spell it incorrectly, D-O-L-F-I-N-S, it will say no matches found because I didn't spell it correctly. But if you do the drop down, down arrow, it will help you spell the words. So I can click then on dolphins, press go. And now I see there's lots of dolphin books. Now this can help me and I can look like this one has one of one available. There's quite a few that are available. And if you notice, they all have the um, different types of locations. So this one is a 599. So it's going to be in the harder section. This one is an E599. So it's going to be in the easier section. And this one has an F. So it's going to be actually a storybook in the fiction section. So let's say I wanted to try to find the 599s. So let's go back and look for the 599s. Now, this is a huge section, <laughs> but if you just look for the 599s, there's the call number, and you try to find the 500s, here's the 570s and then the 599s, if you get into the 599s, you'll notice that you can get in the vicinity or the area of um, the particular things, and you can see there's some dolphins, whales, dolphins, dolphins, and then it gets into zebras, and there's some rats over here too. So there's lots of things that you can look for. All right, so now let's go back to the last thing I wanted to show you, catalog. Those are your basic searching, so you can do basic search. You can also do a visual search. So let's say I wanted to just find something to do with animals. So I'm going to click on animals, and let's just say we'll take the first one here, and I want to try to find something on bears. So I can look in here and I can see, oh, that's in. That's great. Now, this is an e-book, 599, so it's going to be on the short stack by the hallway. Um, there is an e without a number, so that means it's an easy reader. This is going to be more of a picture book on the easy side. This is an e-c, so it's an early chapter book on the easy side. This one is an f, so it's a fiction book, harder. So there is a lot of choices, isn't there? Lots and lots and lots of choices for you to choose from on here. So you can look at these and see um, where to find some um, of the books. So let's just say I wanted to try to find, I know that even in the E section um, or the harder section, it's going to be 599. So if I look over here, I find the 599, it's going to be in the 500, so you just, um, Count up, um, and once you find 599, there'll be a whole section on bears. So you can actually, if you just find the area, you'll be able to find the section that you want. Now, of course, there's always exceptions to the rules. Even though uh, you might have um, a graphic novel that you're looking for, so the comic book format, it will tell you it's in the 700, 741 to be exact. But there are so many of those and they are so popular. Uh, we actually pulled them out and you can find them over by the windows up against the wall. Um, and those are welcome for you to take. They're just, they're not gonna be in the normal section in the stacks. We pulled them all out. These are all the graphic novels. Another exception is the 39 clues. Those should be in the fiction section, but since they have all different authors, we pulled those out and those are by the graphic novels by the windows. Another exception is the Young Hoosier Book Awards because we are encouraging classes to read and vote for their favorite book. Those are pulled out and those are back by the computer lab up against the wall. Another exception is biographies. Lots and lots and lots of biographies. Those should be in the 921s, but since it's so big, we have um, the 921s all pulled out and they're over by the windows. So if you see something of the 920 or 921s, they're going to be up against the wall. So those are the exceptions and that's how to find your um, book that maybe you were specifically trying to find in the library. So get on to destiny.warren.k12.in.us and give it a try.